A few days back I was introduced to Dragon Frame. Dragon Frame is a tool for stop motion films. One of the cool features is that it allows you to control via DMX the entire set from lights, motorized dollies and more. The reason I got to know this was that a good friend needed to set up LED light for a really small set for a stop motion movie. He wanted as many DMX channels that will be translated into a PWM driven channels for, we for white, RGB and high power LED. So let me show you what we came up with. After a little bit of Google time, we came across the, this great library. What it does is it allows you to connect an Arduino that will imitate the standard USB DMX protocol that the Dragon Frame is using. The library itself is well written and, and does all the important work like the end shaking with the software on connect. I placed a link in the description. So we took the basic example and we added some code of our own and it didn't work well. Now the reason it didn't work well is that we kept on losing the connection between the software and the Tinsy board. We tried several baud rates as recommended in the description of the example. We even tried 57600, it still didn't work. Our search for entries brought us to this great page. Let me show you. And way down in the bottom, we found a solution. As you can see here, um, it talks about the clocks not being matched between an Arduino and Tinsy, but in our case, it was between the Tinsy and a computer, but I'm guessing it is somewhat the same problem. Uh, you can read, I put a link in the description if you want to read the entire technical thing here. But in general, what it says that since the read and write is depending on timing and the clock is not really perfect in that baud rate, you can see all the baud rate error rates here. So we ended up using 57601, as it says here, to set in the Arduino, and that solved our problem. And then finally, when we're connecting things, as you can see here, is controlling the channels within the software and it changes the light it gets all control and you can see we got a, a messed up part here and now the reason we choose Tinsy was that it has 22 PWM channels and the second thing is that it allows you to do uh, PWM in a really high frequency and in our case 20k and I want to show you why now I'm pretty sure all of you can notice the flickering here. It's almost like there's bars here. And now what we did is we changed the, the frequency into 20k into 20,000 hertz. And as you can see, no flickering. So it looks really, really, really well. So we learned something else, which was really, really cool. So the code we did is fairly simple. It's mainly driven out of their basic example. And as you can see, we do a setup. Um, we set the analog frequency of pin 35 to 2000K. Now that's interesting. Um, as you can see in the list here, you can see which pins are connected to which timer when it comes to PWM and its default frequency. Now, once you change one of them, one of them to a certain frequency, you're basically changing the entire set. You only need to do that once. And also to be aware that you cannot, you will have to reset them if you want a different one on the same timer. Um, now the rest of the code also, it has a DMX listener and then has a callback here. And what we do is we take the channels within the four channels that we use and we set the analog right to them. Well, I hope you, you found this uh, tutorial useful and you're going to make your own some DMX USB things. If you do, please send them in the comments and uh, subscribe to the channel.